Good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. I have a theory. It is a theory that involves um, comparing the butterfly to our lives and our purposes in life. Um, you know how this this little caterpillar, how it eats and eats and eats and then turns into a cocoon before it turns into a butterfly. Well, that's complete transformation, right? This one little creature can turn into a completely different creature and become absolutely magnificent and beautiful and fragile and special and able to fly and see the world and everything. Well, it's, I think that's pretty amazing. And I think that's also a metaphor to what we can achieve in life. You know, we, we are born with the knowledge that we're meant to be something more than we are. You know, we, we're meant to create something, make a statement in this world. So we have to find a way to get from the caterpillar stage of just eating our way through life and, and, and just going in the cursed life and just, just, just going with the storm of the norm <laughs> to finding within ourselves that, that special way of being different, of standing out, of making a difference in the world, of following our passion and becoming who we're really meant to be, like the butterfly. Thing is, when you think of the butterfly's process, it doesn't change from being a caterpillar to being a butterfly overnight, does it? He, he finds a place, creates his cocoon and just hangs there. And that's pretty amazing to me because at that point he's no longer really a part of the world. He can't walk around in it, he can't move about, he can't protect himself. He's just hanging there completely vulnerable. He's taken himself out of the daily world, but he's still part of it in a way. And in that very vulnerable and quiet state, all these things inside this cocoon are happening. And to the eye and, and, and maybe to the caterpillar itself, nothing's changing because the world around it is, is just not, not no part of what's going on with the butterfly or the caterpillar or whatever it is at that stage, you know. This cocoon is like a complete ball of silence and complete vulnerability as well. But everything is taking place in that moment. And can you imagine if the caterpillar wouldn't have that courage? And if it wouldn't have that patience, and it would never become the butterfly. And I think that's what happens to us when we really want something. We, we really want to achieve something. We want it to happen straight away. And sometimes it just doesn't. At least most times it doesn't. Most times it takes a long time. And a long time can be weeks, months, or years. But it takes patience. And it takes a profound feeling of being true and well stuck and vulnerable and you know that that feeling of I made a start I've done what I think I had to do and nothing's happening nothing's changing and that's I think that's our cocoon stage I think that's the stage where we really just have to realize that in order for change to happen certain things around us uh, certain things within us have to change ever so slightly and it's these really slight changes that we don't really notice so that's why we, we feel like we're stuck and we feel like we're vulnerable and we feel like we've, we've, we've done it all for nothing because nothing's coming out of it but that's the moment where I think most things actually are happening I think that's the moment where we're tested the most because if you take your faith in what you were meant to do and you, you stick to that you really believe in that then you can wait it out and then you can see the signs of when you're supposed to act and when the big changes are coming but if at that point you think well you know what nothing's happening so I'm giving up that's when nothing is gonna happen and then you feel like you've tried for nothing and th those are I think the majority of the people will give up at that point and just stop trying 
I stopped believing. But it's that cocoon stage where, where you decide which way you're going. So you need to be more passionate than ever and more patient than ever when you're in that stage, when nothing seems to be happening. You need to have faith that it will happen. Like, like the butterfly, you know. So, yeah, this, this cocoon stage of ours, we just, we just have to get through it. Believe with all our hearts that we're going in the right direction. Read the signs that comes our way, follow our instincts and our intuition, and you know, just see that you'll meet the right people, but you have to recognize them. you see that it only has to be one person, you know, to make a, a small change turn into a big change. And sometimes you can even feel completely uninspired, but have the feeling that there's something out there that's bigger than you. And that's the universe conspiring to make it happen for you. So it's moments like that, that you just really have to pace yourself and relax and just keep the faith, basically. So, yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's my little message for today. If you are in that stuck moment in life, in your process of becoming who you really want to become or doing what you really want to do. If you're in that moment that you're stuck, just remember that butterfly. Remember how much courage that but that little caterpillar had to have to become that cocoon and to just wait it out and to allow all the changes to happen within while doing nothing active, while not moving around, while not protecting itself. And how that caterpillar is taking all that time and that change really slowly and really stuck, literally stuck in the cocoon and then bursting out as this awesome butterfly all of a sudden who can fly around and see the world and is just adored by pretty much everyone who looks at it. You know, just, just imagine that that can be you. So get through the cocoon part. And you'll come out the other end like the beautiful butterfly. Your moment of glory will come. But you have to have a little faith, a little patience, and you have to pay attention to the signs that are coming your way. Well, that's it for now, folks. See ya. Bye-bye.